What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. First off, before we get into any of the updates, thank you so much for all the support on the last video and the last BB23 update video. You guys just blew me away with the support. And I love to see it. We're going to keep going here. It's day three now of Big Brother updates. And uh, we did have some more information. Some more stuff happened. Biggest things, nominations. Uh, a little bit of an update to some of the alliances. And uh, some more Frenchy madness. Uh, so let's just jump into it here. Pull up our big board. Boom. You can see right there we do have nominees. Probably not who you expected. Uh, it ended up being Kyland and Alyssa who were nominated by Frenchie. And when I saw this, I was like, wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on. It was back up a little bit. How did we get here? Right? Because if you look on over, I have added the butchers and the slaughterhouse into the alliance chart, even though I personally don't believe in this. I don't think anybody in this alliance believes in this, except for maybe Frenchie. But two of the people in the alliance are on the block. And the person in the middle of the alliance is the HOH. So you've nominated your own allies in the game. Hey, that maybe maybe I'm completely wrong and I don't know what I'm talking about with Big Brother, but I don't think the idea is to nominate your allies to go home. Just a thought. But those were who ended up on the block. And Frenchie's reasoning was he woke up and he's like, I, I had a dream. And <laughs> Derek F, uh, he's been called uh, Big D in that side of the house. He was killing me with his description of what happened during the nomination ceremony. He's like, nobody sitting at the table knew what was going to happen. Production didn't know what was going to happen. The people at home aren't going to know what was going to happen. He's like, <laughs> he was blown away. Blown away. Uh, he said, maybe tomorrow he'll wake up, he'll have another dream, and there'll be somebody else who wants to <laughs> be nominated. I, Frenchie has been all over the place uh, during this HOA train. And it's weird because I think he even knows that he's been all over the place and he knows that this is a problem that he's having. Uh, late last night before he was going to bed, he was speaking to himself inside the HOH room saying, oh, I don't get HOH-itis. Don't get HOH-itis. Too late, Frenchie. Too late. Uh, again, let's let's try and go over how we even got to this, right? So we have the slaughterhouse. We have the butchers. Brent is in the slaughterhouse. And again, I feel like Brent only is in the slaughterhouse because he walked into the HOH room at the right moment. Just just my thought on how he ended up in there. I, I Again, I don't really even know. It doesn't make a lot of sense who he has invited into the butchers, who he's invited into the slaughterhouse. I don't think it's going to last because none of these people really trust Frenchie at this point. But we'll see. Um, we have also added to the cookout, eh, slightly, Kylan and Hannah. Now, I do believe they're part of the cookout, right? They're part of this alliance that's forming. They know about it, right? They know even though the name and everything. But I still believe there's that core four, right? Almost like how you had the committee last season, right? And there was, you know, the core of that alliance. And then there were extra people added on that were like, yeah, they were on the alliance, but they were bottom of the totem pole. That's how I kind of feel about Kyland and Hannah. Now, I do believe Vito will be played today. As you're watching this video on, on Saturday, Veto should be played today. We'll see who the Veto players are. Um, and depending on who they are and who wins Veto is going to be a big factor on who the potential backdoor plan will be, who the replacement nom will be. Uh, right now, it still looks like Derek X might be the plan for the backdoor. But your guess might be as good as mine. It might be as good as anybody in the house. We really don't know what's going to end up happening. Because uh, Frenchie has been flip-flopping pretty much all day. Nobody really knows who's trusting who. 
it, it's really been Frenchie's Funhouse. It's been Frenchie's Funhouse in there. He, he's calling the, the Alliance the Slaughterhouse, but it's the Funhouse. And I'll give it this. The feed's been a lot of fun to watch. They've been a lot of fun. It's been messy. It's been crazy. And everyone's kind of on edge. Uh, people are crying in there because they're already homesick and they and they can't believe what's going on. I actually saw uh, it actually was was kind of sweet. Uh, Xavier was kind of alone in the back bedroom in the in the the kind of the boathouse room, and he was crying. You know, saying he misses his mom. Like pull it together, right? Like pull it together. But you know what? I get it, right? I totally get having those kind of emotions, especially with all this madness going on inside the house as well. Um, now if they get a house kids choice, Ky- uh, Kylan and Alyssa have talked about who they would pick, uh, to play in, uh, the veto competition for them. Kylan says he would probably pick somebody like Xavier. Um, Alyssa said she might end up picking someone like Brent, um, people who they think would use the veto, right. Without kind of giving away what's going on uh with things also uh, (laughs) one of the reasons that Alyssa is even nominated was Frenchie thought that she had like a showman's forming already but there really isn't any evidence to that going on either again Frenchie has really made this uh, a lot of fun to follow but really hard to follow uh, on what's actually been going on inside the Big Brother house, uh, Twitter's going crazy with it, uh, and it's and it's interesting because it almost seems like Frenchie was trying to play for the Twitter audience and for the people at home instead of following his heart and following his head. He he's trying to play for other people and play for for the audience, and it's just, it's not working out for him, right? Because the exact opposite's probably happening that he wants. The audience is turning on him, being like, "Dude, what what are you doing? What what are you thinking?" Uh, I know a lot of you in the comments of the last video were like, "What? What? <laughs> right? You were just as blown away as I was." Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see. The big thing will be veto. Who wins veto? Who's gonna be that replacement nominee? And we're gonna have to see from there. Worst case scenario. Right. Let's say uh, the nominees stay the same. I believe Kylan would stay. I think he would have the votes to stay. More people would be um, in favor of him staying over Alyssa. But I honestly don't want either of these people to go. Um, I don't even necessarily know who I would want to go at this moment. Who would be a good replacement nominee uh, to go up there? There was talk of, again, Derek X being that that replacement, being the actual target. There was also some talk of Travis being the replacement as well. And I think if I had to choose between those two of the Derek X and Travis, I feel like Travis might be the one I'd rather see go. Um, just from a character standpoint and a gameplay standpoint. Uh, I feel like Derek X has a little bit more to offer, but he also at this point might have been given up already. He doesn't feel like he deserves to stay anymore, and it's kind of sad to see because Frenchie, man, Frenchie's gone off the deep end. He's gone off the deep end, and he's made this into just complete madness, absolute madness. Um, Yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking about the nominees. Who would you want to see win Vito? Who would you want to see go up as a replacement if Vito gets used? Let me know in those comments right down below. Uh, Also, again, if you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me over on Twitter at OriStreams. You can follow me on Twitch.tv slash OriStreams. I believe I will be streaming uh, tonight, uh, this Saturday night. So for some games, we'll see uh, what we end up doing. Maybe we'll get a gang together, uh, play some uh, Goose Goose Duck, maybe Among Us, maybe even some Pummel Party, which is kind of an interesting game as well. Uh, we'll see uh, how that all goes. Once again, thank you guys for all the support you gave me on my last video. Uh, and I will see you all next time.